Welcome back to Fallout 4. We've just cleared out Arcjet Systems with this Brotherhood of Steel guy here, and he gave us a nice new weapon. Now, I was going to continue on to our quest goal to talk to the settlers over here that need help, but there's something I want to do first. I'm really having a tough time with my inventory running out of room, so I'm actually going to teleport back to Sanctuary, and I'm going to do something. I'm going to dump all of my junk into the crafting station, because I just learned that you can apparently do that, and I didn't really know about that. I mean, I knew you could store stuff in the workstation, but I didn't know that it works like this. Um, yeah, apparently you can go to the workshop, press transfer, and yeah, see? T, store all junk. So you can store all your junk, instantly. There we go, I just dumped like 50 pounds. Oh, feels good to finally get rid of all that. I do want to do some more inventory management than just that, though. So I'm going to do some more stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, I stored all my junk in the workshop. I also scrapped a bunch of weapons and armor. And now I am down to 122 pounds out of 220. So plenty of room for random clipboards and desk fans and whatnot. I also did some stuff for my settlement here. I uh, assigned some more people to farming. I also planted some more crops since I had gotten a bunch of crops out in the wasteland. Uh, I also tried to improve my little trap flamethrower thing here by building a pressure plate and connecting it to the generator. Since I do have copper now, I was actually able to build some switches. And unfortunately the pressure plate just didn't work. I don't know how it works. I, I can't seem to connect it properly. So I just stored it in the workshop to use some other time and, well, I give up. So I just plopped out a turret, which is going to be much more effective than the flamethrower that doesn't even work. So I think I'm going to call it good there. Only thing left to do here is do some cooking. Kill lots of uh, things in the wasteland that I can bake up. Bloat fly? Mm -mm -mm. Crispy squirrel bits. Red roaches. Mutt chops. Sting wing fillet. Mm. Yeah, 130 HP. That's nice. Okay, got some more healing items. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Any soups? Nope. Utility, beverage... Nope. Looks like I need crops to make a lot of this stuff, like the soups and stuff. And this needs mute fruit. Yeah, soups need like carrot, iguana bits, razor grain, gourd. Let's go see if any of the crops have grown, actually. Yeah, I can show you all the crops that I just planted, too. Perfect. There we go. And yeah, they're both tending to the garden. Sweet. I signed... Some days are harder than others. But even the hard days get easier than the one before. I signed him. And I signed Preston. <laughs> so, instead of Preston adventuring out with me in the wasteland with his superior combat abilities... I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Thank you for the random quest, Preston. Uh, but yeah. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy... Stop! Would everybody stop talking to me? Just nothing I hate more than uh, No, scumbags. stop, stop. Why does everybody want to talk with me? Go away. I'm going to stay at a safe distance. Okay. So yes, Preston, instead of wandering the wasteland with me, with his excellent combat abilities, instead he's farming. That's what you get, Preston, for being a bad voice actor. Dogmeat's so much better than you. Such a uh, such a good voice actor, Dogmeat. Superb performance. Seems to be growing well. And you yeah, need to assign like someone to this. Do I? I've already got two people assigned to these places. To, to these plants. I need to assign someone to this. I need to assign someone to this. Is that just what she says every time you try to harvest an empty one? I need to assign someone to this. I need to assign someone to this. Yeah. 
I think two farmers is enough. Maybe it's not, but uh, there's not enough people to go around, so I'll live with it. This door is bothering me. Scrap it. Alright. See if we can cook any new things, and then we'll be off to back to where we were before. Nope, need carrots for that, razor green for that. Yeah, still not cool. Oh, wait. Here we go, Dirty Wastelander. What does that do? Lowers my intelligence by two? <laughs> and increases my strength and charisma. I am never going to drink that, but I'll cook it for the experience. Okay, back to the wasteland. We were... here. Actually, hold on. It'd be faster to go to the police station and then go there. Oh, and that tip on the bottom left of the screen, tired of the same old look, a reconstructive surgeon can give you a whole new face. Yeah, uh, there's also barbers, apparently. So you can also change your hairstyle. Okay, so we want to go to Oberlin Station. Oh, and where's the other place that Preston just told us about, actually? Monster Lair. Where is that? You know what? Let's go there. Yeah. Kind of seems like things get higher level and stronger and more advanced the more south I go, so let's stick with quests that are more northern. If we have them. Yep, straight this way. Over deal, here. Trudy. Oh. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Wolfgang. These people are friendly, they're not red. Trash can Carla? Didn't even see you over there. Okay, so none of these people are enemies yet. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. See if we can mediate. Whoa, whoa, easy there, whoa, bulk whoa, whoa, girl. Whoa, 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 this whoa. doesn't involve you. Should I tell them to lower their gun? They might just shoot me outright. I'm gonna do it. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. <laughs> Demand money. Nah. What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. I'm gonna talk with her. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Who's this guy over here? Never take a hit at Jad again, I swear. Excuse me. God, you're changing, just itching all over. <clears throat> I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money, but I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right. Crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Was, like, the quickest... 
dispute resu uh, resolution ever. I was just like, hi, these people want money from you. Please pay. She's like, okay, fine. The end. We're open for business again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. How about you buy something and make it up to us? You got things covered from here? Yeah. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems, but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? She's the first trader I've even seen. I would love to barter. Let's see what you got. A little bit of everything. A <laughs> ten pound weight? Surprise, it weighs ten. Mm, let's sort you. Oh my god, she really does have a little bit of everything. What? General Chow's Revenge? It's a fucking sword! It's a serrated sword. <laughs> it's a flame burge. Well, I'm sure I'm not going to find a better rifle than the one I have. At least not a faster, uh, not a better fast firing rifle like the one I have, but I wouldn't mind a new sniper rifle. Walking cane. What a dapper way to beat people up. Yeah, it looks like there's no sniper rifles. Apparel. Nothing good. I don't think I need any aid. Bobby pins. I'm good on bobby pins. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to sell stuff to her, not buy stuff. What do I have to sell? I've got a hell of a lot of grenades. I really should start throwing these things. Yeah, ten molotovs, eight grenades, five mines. Now, apparel I actually want to store, not sell. Um, to be honest, I forgot to store it back at the settlement. Oh, well. Because all this stuff, like suspenders and slacks, sweater vest and slacks... I want to keep that stuff, because it's all kind of like personality kind of things that I can put on whenever I feel like it. Uh, but road leathers, that's nothing special. Nor are long john special. I think that's about it. You'd think the uh, T-45 left arm would be extremely heavy, but it actually weighs nothing. I guess because if it actually was heavy, that'd probably be too much of a annoyance. With the power armor just dumping parts once you get hurt. If you had to pick those parts up and they weighed a crap ton, and you had to lug them around until you could fix them up, that would be awfully annoying. Alright. We get paid and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. Good job. Here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer. Sure. Let's see what you have. I got stuff that'll blow your mind. Addictol. Cures all addictions. <laughs> if only it was that easy. Wait, did this guy just had? <sighs> If her son in there is, like, suffering from chem addiction and you, you're telling me there's a thing you can take that it just cures all addictions instantly, how come... How come addiction is even a problem? Oh. Actually, it costs 333. Which is actually really expensive. Maybe that's why. So all he's got is ammo and drugs. I'm good. No thanks. Alright, back to what we were doing before. Back to the police station, then we'll head over to Oberland Station. I swear it's going to take me ten hours to get to Oberland Station. I'm never going to get there. Ever. I'll complete the main damn quest and finish the game before I get to Oberland. Gonna have to go across the bridge unless I want a bunch of radiation from the water. 
So let's go down the road here until we hit the bridge. I guess I can just start picking everything up since I have so much room, sure. The armor really is gonna... it's gonna add up really quickly though. Ooh. Mr. Gutsy. You're not actually a enemy, are you though? No, you're not red. Put away my weapon. We come in peace. Oh! Okay. It wants to pacify me. How much health do you have? Uh, not too much. Right eye, left eye. Let's take out its eyes. Got one of them. I'm not even hitting it. Car's gonna blow! Everything's gonna blow! There's a trap somewhere there. There we go, the perception should be shit. Oh, fuck! I'm about to die. Jesus. I thought taking out its eyes would lower its perception to the point where it like, couldn't hit me or something, but <laughs> apparently not. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, there you are. Maybe I should take out its gun. Which, which gun, which arm has the gun? Because that looks like a flamethrower there. Which shouldn't be a problem if I don't get close. I don't know. Whatever. Shoot his limbs off. Energy weapon time. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, come on. That thing is brutal. I'm just going straight for this thing right away. Oh, I should have put a weapon mod while I was back in the settlement on this thing, too. Give it a better sight. Execute a critical. Boom, that did, like, no damage. Cool. I was looking for my health bar in the bottom left, but I didn't see it popping up for some reason. Thought it was okay. Stand down, people. Run! Okay, I need to heal immediately. Sort by value. What about the canned dog food, by the way? Oh, that gives me rats, too. Stealth boy. Guessing that makes me super stealthy. Anyway. Mutt chops? Yeah.
We got him, boy. We got him. Good job. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Never mind, boy. I wish there was an ability to pet him, but it doesn't seem like it. big building. Yeah, we're seriously never going to get to Oberlin Station, are we? Nope. Those settlers are going to be long dead before I ever reach him. I see you. I'm just going to preemptively blow that thing up. Also, something heard me. Oh, you're in there. Really, you haven't spotted me yet. There you go. <laughs> that guy didn't spot me when I was literally five feet away with my flashlight shining in his face. Uh, how am I doing on weight? I still got plenty left. I wonder if the flashlight actually takes away from your stealth ability. Given that he didn't find me when he was so close, I feel like maybe it doesn't. It should, but maybe it doesn't. Tour info. Tours happen every half hour and can last anywhere from five to six minutes. Guests are treated to a bird's eye view of the brewery from our elevated walkway. The brewery is not liable for any patrons who fall from the walkway. Guardrails have been installed for their safety. Tour includes a $5 discount for uh, from purchases made at the gift shop, and a complimentary tasting in the parking lot as guests leave. Temperature of complimentary tasting is not guaranteed. So basically, they accept no responsibility for anything. So many bottles. I don't know what the bottles are good for. Maybe I can turn them into glass. Hopefully they're not too heavy. Let's actually check. How am I doing on weight now? Uh, junk? Would it be junk? Yes. Each one weighs. Each one weighs half a pound. It's actually pretty heavy. But yeah, I can scrap them. <gasps> ooh. 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 Do you think I can take the middle bottom bottle and they won't fall? Okay. I want to see this thing collapse. <laughs> Physics. I think I can cook crispy squirrel bits. Vegetable soup. Hmm. Plus 25 rad resist for one hour. Could be handy if I find a place that has lots of radiation. Somebody was playing bowling with these. That bowling ball has got to be really heavy. I'm not going to take it. I'm turn the light off. I'm going to test the light if I can. I'm signaling. I'm signaling to the person. No, it doesn't seem to matter. You're an enemy, right? Yeah, raider scum.
There's another one over there somewhere. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. Another one. Looks like they're above me. Over that way. I love being a sniper. Can't get me with that tripwire? Come on. I'm a ninja. I should probably upgrade my sneak skills. Stay on the upper levels for now. Tower Tom. I'm gonna try crippling his arm and see if that makes it so he can't use the shotgun. Didn't work, didn't matter. He's dead anyway. Pile of goo on the ground. Oh, I'm already wearing carrying too much. It's the damn armor. Weapons workbench. Yeah, let's actually, uh, that'll be good, so I can break a lot of these weapons down. Scrap it. Turn into steel and wood, which, honestly, is probably not worth it. I don't think I need steel or wood. I think I have, like, hundreds of both. But I'll do it. Okay, and let's go ahead and change the sight on this thing. Let's see if there's any other modifications I can do with it as well. Barrel, nope. Stock, nope. Muzzle, nope. I need, oh, I need science to be able to upgrade energy weapons. Damn. Might have to go for that. Can I at least give it a sight? No, I'm missing adhesive, fiber optics, fiberglass. Let me tag that for search. That means if I find anything, the little... Uh, the little magnifying glass icon that will pop up on any crafting ingredients that I find that meet this criteria. Just trying to think of where to get those things. Like, do I already have the stuff for them? It's possible I already have the stuff for them, but that... This crafting station... I don't even know how it works. Like, I've got junk stored at the crafting station back home, and I don't know if that stuff would maybe... Give me the stuff I need to make the weapon mod, but I just can't access it from here because this isn't in, like, a good settlement or something. I really don't know how it works. This holotype contains encoded subroutines for the brewing of Gwinnett brand. Dead Redcoat Ale. Attempting to use these brewing subroutines without licensing agreement is considered theft of corporate secrets and will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. If found, please return to your local Gwinnett Brewery for a cash reward. Oh boy. I love these minigames so, so much. I'm looking for anything to remove duds. Oh, there's something. Ah, forget it. Claw, no likeness. Main, one likeness. Head, G A D, no. Hurt, no. Wife, no. Earl. No. Deal. Nope. Exit. Could be. That's there we go. Trouble. Crew's getting restless. 
Still got plenty of beer, but food's getting low. Sent Sparta and her crew out of... Bad TFL. Don't know what that is. See if they could find something, but folks are going to start deserting if we don't turn up something edible soon. Closest reserves are the federal stockpile, but it seems Lily and Red Tourette's parents never taught these bitches to share. Never taught those bitches to share, rather. Gonna have to make a move if we don't hear from Sparta soon. Fucked up bad. We tried to storm the stockpile, but Lily, Red, and crew were dug in like ticks. Wiped out half our men before we could bolt. Dreg and Hook managed to grab a couple of hostages. Maybe we can trade them for a couple of snack cakes. At least now we got fewer mouths to feed. Jackpot. Lily. It's fucking Lily. I'd recognize the bitch anywhere. Dreg brought the hostages from the raid up to my room and the second I saw her, I knew we were saved. Now Red will have to deal with us. Unless she prefers getting her sister back in pieces. Hmm. I wonder how long ago this happened. Could I... Maybe they still have her hostage and I could save her? So much food. Never seen so much food. When I told her we had her sister, Red thought I was... Oh. Red... Red though. I was supposed to say thought. Red thought I was full of shit. But one letter from Little Sis cleared things up real quick. Now the crates are pouring in and so are the recruits. At this rate, we'll be able to make a move on Corvega or DB Tech before the year's out. <laughs> and then the next one. Fuck! How the fuck did she get loose? I chained that bitch to the fucking floor. I was still half asleep when she came at me. I thought I was aiming at her leg. Now there's blood fucking everywhere. Got to clean this up. Do something with the body. This can't get out. Red's not gonna give us shit if she finds out her sister's dead. Well, guess I'm not gonna save her. Problem solved. Rumor of a fat caravan train drifted in today. Whole crew went to hit it. Except it never showed. Because it didn't exist. While everyone was out, I stashed Lily's body in one of the vats. I think she even improved the flavor. That's one problem solved. But this gang's dead in the water unless the food keeps coming in. And that means Lily's letters have to keep going out. I'm gonna need to find more pens. <laughs> gonna start forging her letters to try to get more food from Red, huh? And Lily's body's in one of the vats. I might have to check for it. Corvega. Seems somebody took down Jared. Much as I hated that chem-hungry bastard, he was no pushover. We're gonna need more guns. Somebody took down Jared. That would be me, right? I think. Wait. Art of transfer. Hold on. If I store stuff here, is it only going to stay in this workbench? I think it only stays in this workbench. Yeah, probably. Okay, I'm going to dump some armor. Because that is what's weighing me down. Sort by weight. Yeah, spike armor. This thing weighs 14. I'm going to stop picking up armor. There we go. Tuned hunting rifle. I'll take that. Anything that's got some mods on it might be worth taking. Um, where do I want to go? Up or down the elevator? Or I want to make sure I explore everywhere. Secrets? Platforming. Nah. Let's see where the elevator takes us. Going down. Oh. Well, that's obviously a trap. So this was going to trip the shotgun, right? So that means if I trip it now, it doesn't trip anything. 
Yeah. Ew. Do I really need this many bottles? <gasps> oh, look at this. Two teddy bears. And some flowers, and they're kissing each other? I think they might just be having sex. I think maybe they're just having sex. I'm pretty sure they're having sex, actually. At first I thought it was kind of sweet, but now it's just kind of, kind of lewd. It's still kind of sweet, though. Two loving teddy bears having loving teddy bear sex. I won't interrupt them. And I won't split them apart by taking them. Oh crap. I think I just accidentally slept. Oh well. I'm gonna have enough glass to last the rest of the apocalypse. Should I make some drugs? <laughs> Can combine buff out and jet to make buff jet. Sure. Get some XP. My God. How's my weight looking? I'm pretty close to full. I'm going to stop taking bottles. I've got like 50 now, probably. <laughs> this is what they call environmental storytelling. This poor skeleton died of alcohol poisoning. It's bad for the bones. Good boy, good boy. Now, I can actually go inside of any of the vats where that woman's body was stored. I don't see any way to get inside of them. At least not these here. I don't know what the the vats are, I mean, those are vats, those are vats. That's a lot of vats. back to the outside world. Okay, I'm really not sure where I've been and where I haven't been. Uh, I originally came from here. I did not go this way. Or wait, or is this where I came from? No, this is where I came from. I did not go this way. So, maybe I've explored everything, actually. There might be everything to this place. And that just goes back up, right? Yeah, it just goes back up. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Seems like it. Oh, wait. Never mind. Uh, 
Incinerated in one shot. That effect is so cool. Dude did a lot of damage. Gotta have some more, yeah, big blow, blow fly. There we go. Some mutt chops too. I wish you could sort by like baked stuff or something. Corrupted. Oh. Quarter two. Corrupted. Three. Corrupted. Q4 projections. Full year capital spending is now estimated to increase over the previous year, thanks to budget tightening and lowering of quality control in the product, including an increase in the water to wart ratio. Brand management has also announced a marketing push of Bunker Hill Brew to lower income markets, which we all know spend a larger percentage of disposable income on beer and malted beverages. Gross margins are speculated to increase well into 2078. Oh, what a bunch of assholes. Poor people like to get drunk. Also, we're lowering our quality control. Business is booming. Dickbags. I think that's it. Time to go down. Wee. You know, I'm thinking the thing that makes the most sense to do, honestly is to constantly fast travel back home. Like, after you leave a location, fast travel back to Sanctuary and just dump all your junk. Seems to be the way to go. But I'm also going to go back here. Oh, I, was just, I was just reading the tip there on the loading screen. It said if you have the Penetrator perk, you can shoot th people through cover in vats, which sounds super cool. What was I saying before? Oh right, I'm also going to try the uh, weapon mod, see if I can put a sight on this thing. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. Oh, here we go. Yeah, now I can do some stuff. Yeah, see, I've got tons of adhesive. So the reason I didn't have adhesive in circuitry and, and whatnot before is I think because I was using a workstation that was not in my network of workstations, which means I didn't get access to all my stored stuff. All my stored junk. I think that's why. Okay, so improved critical shot damage and accuracy. So this is strictly better, except that it weighs slightly more, but whatever. Adds burning damage, improved range. That sounds cooler. That sounds cooler than improved critical shot damage and accuracy, because critical shots, I don't know. I haven't done much of them, but they seem pointless so far. I mean, so far I've used them like twice, but it seems like you do a critical shot, it doesn't do that much damage, and then you can't use it again for like... I, I don't know. A long time. It feels pointless. Whether it is or not, I don't know, but it feels like it. Hmm. 
Improve sights. Improve focus and sighted accuracy. Only improves the accuracy by one from 76 to 77, which is not much. So I'm still missing fiber optics. And nuclear material. Oh, right, but I also don't have science, so it doesn't matter. Alright, improved sights. Good enough. Let's also scrap these. Uh, is that actually improved? It didn't actually change the look of it, did it? I guess it was purely a stat change. That's lame. Also, if you go to an armor station like this, you can also scrap armor. Some steel, some cloth, some leather. Again, don't think I need this stuff, but... Well, I don't really feel like selling all that garbage. Although, maybe I should. Who knows? Who knows? Store my junk. So from 196 down to 129. It's all those bottles. Now back to where we were. Look at the beauty of the bloat fly. And its compound eyes. So compoundular. Numerius. Okay, we're almost to our goal. Wow, I was thinking I wouldn't get there in this episode. But it seems like... Brain fungus. Oh my god, it literally looks like a brain. Literally looks like a brain. Yeah, I was thinking I actually wouldn't get to the settlement in this episode. But... Amazingly, I'm actually still not going to get there because I'm going to end this episode here. Haha, I'm going to end on a cliffhanger. A cliffhanger of who knows what they're going to say. Spoiler, they're going to say we need your help. Please go kill these people. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to talk to the people of this settlement and see how we can help them.